Hi, everybody. Mr. Hillard back with you for another lesson in videos. It's time for our mallets. Let's take an overview of what we're going to look at today. And remember, if I ever talk too fast for you, always rewind it. Let's see. We're going to be covering our normal notes we've been playing in school. B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. We're going to count and clap these rhythms. We're going to speak these rhythms. I'm going to work on my sums. Got some new things for us this week. Stepping up to the plate, working third shift, squirrel song, and lightly rub. I might go back and review some difficult spots. Always going to keep a steady beat. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to clap our opening rhythms. Whole note, half note, quarter note. Five times in a row with a steady beat, which would sound like this. back and I'm going to play this opening line on my bells. Feel free to join your thumbs. Remember, on some of your bell kits, you might be missing the word B flat or the word E flat. These are the sets of black keys for the upper row on your bell kit. And your B flat might be marked A sharp, and your E flat might be marked D sharp. Remember, the sharp signs are the things that look like hash marks. Okay, let's go on to number one. Most of the notes in this song are only one letter named up or down from the next note. For example, B flat is only one letter name away from C. When notes are only one letter name away from one another, this distance is called a second. C to D is the same way. So is D to E flat and E flat to F. These are all examples of seconds. Now, you can always take these practice steps up here into consideration. And even though this video might not be very long, you can always go back and review. And that is exactly what your teachers want you to do. Remember, you can always count and clap the rhythms for number one, speak your letter names, and then play the song. This example today is only going to be of number three, playing the song, which would sound like this. Number two, working third shift. Many of the notes in number two are two notes away from their neighboring notes. For example, this first B flat in this song is followed by a D. This skips over the letter C. When this happens in music, we call this distance a third. So B flat to D are thirds. They skip that note in the middle, C. Same thing here with C to E flat. They skip the note in the middle, D. D to F, 
skips your E flats. And now I can make my thirds go down E flat to C. And up. Compare this to how it looks to number one, stepping up to the plate, where my first notes in this song are B flat and C, neighbors, and then my second, right here, are not neighbors, they are thirds. Here we go. Number two. my friends let's move on to some songs this one is called the squirrel song I'm going to take these steps a little bit slower I'm going to read my notes you read them with me B flat B flat C C D F oh they combine going up by seconds and going up by thirds pretty cool back to reading B flat B flat C C C oh, A flat C that one will go twice as fast for me. D D C C C B flat B flat C C D F B flat B flat C C B flat. I'm gonna play this one two times. The first time I'm gonna clap it, and the second time I'll play it. Here's the squirrel song. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try this on our bells. Grab your mallets. Go. One, two, three, four. And our last song of the day, Lightly Row. Take some time and read your notes. Make sure that you're going back up top here to check in with your rhythms and to check in with your letter names. Match them up to the letters that you see on your keyboard. Grab your mallets and go ahead and try it. Lightly row. Here we go. today. Hope you're having fun with these online lessons. We'll see you on the next time. Mr. Hillard, over and out.